Well, here's the next event. This here's the trail cam pickup. It's been two weeks. The Charlie's been gone for a little over three since the coyotes ate it. But the stick's still there. And I picked it up this past Saturday. And there are some good things on this, this camera. But that Charlie, it holds its aroma on on whatever it touches as we will plainly see shortly but there's some good things on this let's the, let the games begin yeah there he is he's a big one trashy thing when I go back I'm gonna loosen the lag bolt on a security box and put a wooden wedge penetrated behind it and angle that box this box is close to seven feet off the ground i'm gonna angle it down because they get to monkeying around they get to monkeying around down there closer to the tree and they get out of sight I get a lot of triggers and you can't see nothing there he is right there you can't tell it but he's right behind the charlie b stick monkeying around he's kind of ambling off left or right you can see his eye glowing what it is is this is a low line piece of land and that fog rolls in at night and it's so thick you can't see nothing but but his eyes glowing there he is now he's he's got his nose right up to the charlie b stick he's got his nose that wise right there where his eyes is he's got his nose right to it yeah, oh boy. Boy, it's just got thicker and thicker. There's his little eyes bouncing around, glowing right there. Right there, just glow, glow, glow. Something spooked that sow. That's a big old sow. Our old milk jugs was a dangling. And then there she is. Three little piglets. And that ain't the little nursery rhyme piglets either, I can assure you. And the coyotes and the bobcats have probably... That's a different sow. She ain't dangling like that one that went out of sight. That's why I'm going to tilt that thing. There's her piglets from the last batch. She's got two of them. And there she is, comes comes back into frame. That limb's moving, had her nose up to it. Now granted, keep in mind, that Charlie's been gone pushing two weeks at this time. And I had it in the wire of that stick. And it's been gone, the coyotes ate it off, which is in a previous video. But stretching that net, touching it. You can still see the brown on the stick, and it's rained two or three times since then. Look at that first velvet buck of the year. Little dink eight point, nonetheless, but a buck. And he's liking, he's liking that bush. It's got little old itty bitty leaves. Next time I go, I'm going to cut it off with my Sheffield. The one that ain't broke. And I got a guy I can I can let him look at it and he'll know what kind of bush it is and I'll relay the message at a later date. Cause that's the bush you want growing around your stand. He just sits there and he eats and eats and eats. A little history on this guy. He's two and a half this year, but last year he was a year and a half. And he was like a three point. Probably six or seven inch spikes, just a little old dink. Could have shot him. Because he had an unforked branch. I ain't wasting no tag on no unforked branch deer. That's why I hunt so many counties. But he ro rolls with a doe. And it was about this time last year. So you'll see her again in a minute. He's, a, he's with the doe, no other bucks. And that's two years in a row that this particular doe is foamless. She must be fertile. 
infertile. I may, I may put a tag on her after season opens because she ain't producing no fawns and she's just eating, eating the brows up that a fertile doe could be utilizing. He's still there. It's kind of foggy. Early morning fog. He's right there. That Charlie smell. They don't have a sniffer like a hog does, so he may not can smell the remnants, but he's close, and he ain't acting like it disturbs him, but I bet if it was a glob of it on that stick, just a wagging that tail, them mosquitoes are horrid when it's warm. There, there she is. That's the doe that he's been running with for quite some time that's fawnless she ought to have i've seen some potted spotted fawns not much bigger than a jackrabbit cross the road in the area so i know they've already had their fawns and she ain't very she ain't showing no signs of being big but she's the same doe he was with last year when he was just below three point boy she's liking that she's liking that bush one of these little one of these little clips he's gonna come into frame probably the next one no She's still there. Them have now been removed. I took those shift filled the other day and just cut them off at the ground. All these little, all these little, I don't know, it's got the little purple berries on it. and That's just some kind of little old bush that is no longer there. It's no longer there because it's, in my, up uh, there he is right there. There he is. And then there she is. She's, she's a diddling with that bush. I don't know if I remove that or not. Might have. No telling. He got some long old brow tines. He'll be a good buck next year. And he'll sure enough be a good one year after next. But them people that hunt across the road, they'll be waylaying him, that's for sure. He's just the kind of buck they like to shoot. We'll have a good daylight picture where it ain't on infrared shortly. Just browsing around, taking their little old time. Just mowing that bush. I think she's right there. That looks like her tail. With her, no, nope, there she is right there. I didn't miss it by much. That kind of looks like a, the back end of another deer. See that little black spot? Looks just like her tail. It's sitting completely still. But I can't verify. Dang, the camera. I got it on. There he is, diddling. No, I ain't one see it still, still there, fool, trying to fool you. But it does look like a deer tail. There it is, a little better. Now we got daylight. Three hours later, they're back, wagging them tails. Yeah, them bushes there too's history. Can't believe it. he wasn't with another buck last year and he ain't with one normally. This time of the year they're still 
It'd be three or four or five bucks together in a little bachelor group, but he just hangs out with this this doe. I don't know if it's well, it's probably his sister. They're about the same size. He's ambling off. He's about twenty minutes from where twenty twenty yards from where I sit. And he's about fifteen yards from where I normally perch. This is thirty yards right here. That spot right there is thirty yards. He's about fifteen. Talk about an uncomfortable set. Boy, I'm I got to figure out it's a tough set seven minutes after you're there you're wishing you was sitting somewhere else but it's a good spot i've seen three turkeys at that spot in seven years fire ants fire ants and the coons and the possums keep the turkey population to nilch null and void He's he's still over messing around. He's he's probably about seven or eight yards from where I perch. Munching on that grass. Them bushes ain't ain't down there. That's just that grass he's gnawing on. There's that big hog again. Walk right up to the Charlie tree. Boy, Catfish Charlie's a good hog attractor. Boy, let me tell you. That right there is a Sherman tank. He's a good 300, three and a quarter, I promise you. He ambles off into the night time. There's the coat. I don't know if he... He must have come... At an angle like this, he didn't even walk and check the Charlie. But them hogs, them hogs can still smell it. I don't know what his. There it is. That's, that's that doe. She's what's triggered it. That's that little old dink buck. And that's the doe. Back to mowing that grass in them little bushes. Still there. I only got it on a three second delay, so it films 30 seconds, waits three seconds, and films again. Yeah, he'll be a he'll be a good one next year at three and a half. He'll probably be out there about seventeen inches wide, I imagine. He'll be tall too. He got man, he's got some tall brow tines. Oh boy, look at that trashy thing. He ain't got him no phone lately. Look how skinny that sucker is. Sometimes you'll see them suckers, they'll just have a bulge, like a big old goose egg in there, like they ate a little piglet or something. There's that big hog again, he's diddling around. And there he, there's the top of the back, when I angle that thing down, I'll... I have I have just had just the tip tines of a buck walking back and forth. His tines, his tines is what triggers the camera, but you can't see nothing but the tip of it. Oh boy, that's that sow with them three little piglets. 
Her milk bags are dangling halfway to the ground. Boy, that's a long, straight tail. Whew. Looks like a calf's tail. It's so straight and long. Yeah, she must have rounded and went and rounded them up. There she is again, but then there's one. That's the two from the last time. That's the three little piglets. They probably about 12 pounds a piece. Look at that and touch the stick. Still smells of Charlie. Got her nose right there in the V of the stick, right where the Charlie was around. Yeah, we got a little, we got a little solution to their problem. It's too hot to be... Oh, look at that big old coon. There's two of them. One there, and then there was one there. They must be headed to the den tree late. Probably been out looking for... Probably been out looking for doggone turkeys. Anyway, that's the last video. I've got some, got some more trail camera pickups coming up in a couple of weeks. Some I hadn't checked in about three months. So there ought to be some spotted fawns here shortly. But until the next event.